All right, good morning. Um, this video is coming a little bit late, but y'all don't really have anything to do, um, new stuff anyway, until two o'clock, so no worries. Um, good morning, or afternoon, or evening. No, I'm gonna touch my face. Here is today's Lid Manual Miranda prompt. Good morning. Give a little bit more than you think you can today. It'll come back around somehow, I promise. That's what I got for you. It's got these pictures of some weights, some dumbbells or something or other. Okay, so today's gonna be a little different from usual. Hang in there, we got this. Today, April, oh shoot, I did it again. Today, April 2nd is International Children's Book Day, which goes very well with the edible book theme from yesterday. National Burrito Day. That sounds good right now, actually. Might be a little too early. National Ferret Day, hence the picture. Oh, ferrets are so cute. Do any of you have a ferret? National Peanut Butter and Jelly Day, which should make a certain Joseph very happy. And Reconciliation Day. Recon to reconcile with somebody means to make up with them, to forgive them. So like if you just got into a fight with your mom, if you guys make up, that would be a reconciliation. So maybe today, forgive somebody who's been getting on your nerves. Um, make up with your brother <laughs> that you've been getting into arguments with because y'all are both stuck at home. I mean, don't reconcile if you shouldn't reconcile, like if they did something really unforgivable, but you know, in times like this, I think we need to learn to let go sometimes. More pictures of ferrets, because they're so cute. Apparently they're the third most popular pet in the United States, did you know that? They're so cute. I had a friend growing up who had like a whole house full of them and they're so much fun to play. They're kind of like fuzzy slinky toys because they're just, they stretch out and they're just, you know, wiggling and, always, and squirming around. They're real cute. They're really smart too. They're kind of stinky though. Okay, so today we're going to have our cross class quizzes at two o'clock PM, as I've already said. So hopefully y'all already prepared for that. If you cannot make it at that time, you'll do it on your own. Um, I'm not gonna post the link up though until two o'clock. So if you cannot make it at two o'clock, you'll just do it afterwards and it won't close. It's just that you won't be doing it as at the same time as everyone else. It won't be as fun and you'll miss out on the prizes because I will take the top, um, the top three like at the time when we're doing it live. Um, I'm going to have a Zoom room set up um, while this is going on. So I'll um, share the screen so you can see the top rankings um, by looking at the Zoom. And you can also chat with me. I'll be in the room. Um, or if you need help or if you have any other questions or comments, I'll have that in there. I think this is also just a good way to make sure everything's working before we have our official Zoom meetups on Friday. Last night I uploaded um, a picture showing how to get to Zoom from Clever. It's really easy. <laughs> you just basically just log into Clever and you'll, on your student page under this section that says like teacher pages, you'll see one that has, that says like Miss Win, Math 8, and um, I think my icon is a deer. And you'll click that and there's only one link in there. It says like my Zoom link. So that'll be where you're supposed to go. Um, you don't have to join the Zoom room, but that's where I'll be commenting and talking about like the winners and stuff like that. So if you want the prize, you have to be in the Zoom room with me. Otherwise, I don't really have a good way of communicating with you and I'm not going to hunt you all down to give you free stuff. Okay, so yeah, that's going to be at two o'clock. I think it'll be fun. It's an overall star review. Um, so it has a little bit of everything. Um, hopefully you've been studying, um, but we'll see how it is. Some of you still have not uploaded pictures of your work for assignments. I think that was reflected in your grades that got posted. Um, so you need to do that. Some of you, very few, um, have been cheating and it's really obvious to me. Um, Y'all's handwriting is pretty distinctive. 
so when you try to pass off somebody else's work as your own, it's extremely obvious to me and there's a very high chance that I took a screenshot of it to share with the other math 8th grade teachers and we're just laughing at you, so... Don't do that. It's- I'm not even posting up anything difficult right now, like you really need to cheat off of somebody to do mad? And, like, scientific notation? Really? That's sad. I feel sorry for you. And you're gonna get a zero. And a referral. Oh, we're still writing referrals. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen. I guess it'll affect you more when we go back, but like, don't do that. Um, we only have about another week until the end of the fifth six weeks, actually. Um, not this week, but next week, because I believe the 13th or the 14th is the last day. So please make sure you're getting these assignments in on time um, so that you can bring your grades up. Some of you really have not been doing anything in online class. Like, I'm gonna call out Steve, because what the heck have you been doing? Um, yeah, these, just because we're doing school online doesn't mean that it's any less serious than real school. So if you don't get these assignments in, um, you're going to get zeros on them. I am taking stuff late. I'm just knocking points off of it. And some of you turn in everything late. And so that's why when you looked at your grades, you would see for equations assignment that you would, you got like a 60 or something. And that's because you consistently turned in a bunch of things late. If I gave you a zero, it's because you didn't submit any work. You know, this is going to affect you a lot, um, especially seventh period. All right, um, so that's it for today. Good night, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Okay, I'm gonna read this. Good night. New ideas are waiting for you on the other side of sleep. Don't be afraid of going to meet them. Yeah? Yeah. That's another dumbbell bouncing up. Um, so between now and two o'clock, you've got a little bit of free time in my class. If you've been doing everything that you're supposed to, great. I would just go through those cheat sheets and re-familiarize yourself with some of the stuff that's a bit older that we haven't been practicing as much. Um, if you haven't been active in my class, you don't like your grade, you need to go through and finish up your assignments. Even if you started class late, like say you like Jose you weren't here the first week you need to still go back and finish old assignments that is still a grade you can't just start from the first assignment from when you were here you, you can still turn stuff in late you have to get it turned in you have to do every assignment even that hello assignment from the very first day of school you need to go back and do them okay um and you guys completing assignments is how I'm doing attendance too so if you're not doing anything then you're getting marked absent So make sure you get that stuff turned in. If you haven't been on top of stuff, then take between now and two o'clock to finish up the assignments you haven't finished or to submit work for the assignments you didn't submit work for. Okay, Robert. All right. Okay, so goodbye. I'll see you guys at two o'clock.